Hello friends, uh, I am Dr. Sadeep. In my channel, I uh, will be discussing the topics regarding the practical application of homeopathy and how to practice classical homeopathy in a very easy way. So today, the topic is how to treat the ear infection by homeopathic medicines. So this is the one of the important topic wherein you can focus. So this uh, ENT that is ear, nose and throat. These are all uh, three uh, group of organs wherein one is infected, the other is usually infected. That is, if the ear is infected, throat and nose will be infected. So because uh, this is uh, one group of organs wherein the pathology runs. Due to that reason, if you have come across any of this uh, ear infection uh, children or ear in inf infection patients, you must look into throat and also nose. So there will be a symptoms which will be presenting itself in throat and in nose also. So you must have a keen observing mind whenever you treat the ear infection. So this is the criteria a homeopathic physician must follow that the corroborative organs, the adjacent organs, the nearby organs should be looked into. If not, there will be possibility to miss the totality of the symptoms. And it is not that we are treating uh, ear, nose and throat. It is not at all uh, important uh, what the symptoms uh, the ear is producing, what the symptoms throat is producing, what the symptoms uh, nose is producing. We are looking beyond these symptoms. This is one of the important uh, feature of a, a homeopathic physician to look beyond the symptoms. I mean to say that the uh, infection part is pathological part. So if you come to a homeopathic aspect, a symptom is taken in his mind, body and his spiritual aspect. So, going beyond and understanding the suffering is one of the key factor in uh, homeopathy. With that, you must also have a knowledge how to elicit the symptoms of this ENT, that is to say ear, nose and throat. So, whenever there is uh, one is infected, all three will be involved because they are connecting organs, connecting parts of the body due to that reason only ear infection if you look into the uh, partial presentation will be observed by you if you go beyond and understand how this ear infection came is it coming from throat is it coming from nose what is the root cause of this uh, ENT problem so another one an important uh, thing what homeopathic physician should uh, uh, understand is and uh, I, I have uh, uh, made few videos uh, on this. If you come to my channel, you will uh, see those uh, uh, videos, friends. Means uh, root cause of uh, infections. Say, whenever there is a ulcers in the apte, apte ulcers in the mouth, throat, the real reason is not uh, uh, the apte ulcers. The real reason for this apte ulcers is because of the constipation because the big large intestines are not working properly the manifestation will come to the mouth will come to the throat will come to the oral cavity so this is one of the feature every homeopathic physician should understand i mean to say that how the pathology how the disease manifestation occurs in the human being is very very important so in this uh, uh, way i mean to say that whenever there is a stubborn constipation this ent is disturbed that is throat is disturbed nose is disturbed and even ear infection is found so what i want to tell you is if you just superficially take the case this uh, ear infection cannot be treated so there are uh, many medicines as you know pulsatilla 
chamomilla and so many very important medicines if you give the medicines uh, the child will be very happy and the parents will be very happy so that it is the acute phase you have come across and treated it properly but the root cause of the uh, ear infection is been neglected or been overlooked so in this ear infection so previously they were uh, classifying this uh, ear infection as acute suppurative otitis media and chronic suppurative otitis media now the recent uh, uh, ENT specialists what they have done is they have uh, dropped this acute and chronic uh, word because now they are telling that suppurative otitis media simple so that so this suppurative otitis media means let it be acute or let it be chronic the same medicine they will be giving but in our homeopathy the total aspect is totally different on which plane the infection is uh, uh, residing so is it in the external ear is it in the middle ear is it reached the inner uh, part of the ears so depending on that myelms are also classified as you know if it is just a functional uh, problem it is just a infection it is it is sora if it is going deeper into the middle ear and affecting the internal ear the psychotic uh, uh, miasm come into play if it is more deeper and affecting the uh, hearing part of the ear then it is syphilitic so here all the miasm comes into play so you must focus on the pathology we must focus on the phase of the disease you must focus on which part of the uh, ear is infected then only you will come to understand the total pathology of the ear the total disease prognosis of the ear so that you can find the symptom similarity medicine as the each individual patient each individual patient requires so here one more important point is physical examination of the ear so here if you uh, understand proper physical examination of the ear if it is a acute one there will be fever there will be pain in the ears there will be chills there will be associated many symptoms uh, in the acute phases if it is a chronic one if it has uh, ear infection as progressed to the middle ear and internal ear the pains are very less the discharges are increased in psychosis as you know the uh, discharges are more if the ear is infected and the psychotic miasm is coming into play then you must note that psychotic medicine is given if the infection is going beyond the psychosis and affecting the hearing aspect affecting the nerve affecting the inner ear that is to say brain centers of the uh, hearing centers brain hearing centers then it is syphilitic in nature then the destruction of the uh, cells destruction of the tissues are coming into play due to that reason homeopathic physician should be very uh, keen and he must be very sensitive to take note of each individual patient's symptoms so that he can reach the depth of the disease he can reach the roots of the disease he can reach the uh, what exactly the patient wants to be altered in this disease to make him healthier human being so this is all uh, about uh, uh, ear infection uh, and what are the medicines uh, uh, you can give in uh, homeopathy i will not go in details about uh, what are the medicines there are so many medicines wherein uh, we have uh, in homeopathy for ear infection uh, pulsatilla merxol Uh, kali carb calcarea carb if you go the list will be going on uh, very long so here my focus is a beginning uh, uh, homeopathic practitioner should understand pathology should understand the root cause of the tree, root cause of the disease should understand the miasmatic involvement of uh, in, in the ear infection that is sora psychosis and syphilis or combination of miasms are uh, affecting this ear so that one can find the individualistic medicine for each individual medicine each individual patient so that 
he will be very confident of using this home tech remedies very effectively and very safely this is all uh, today friends if you like this video please like share and subscribe our channel if you have any doubts please uh, put in the comment section i'll be answering those comments thank you take care